guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have another fabulous Christmas project with your Cricut. Now, if you're digging the Christmas projects, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications that way you're always notified of our latest and greatest videos. But for today, guys, we are making these cute little miniature canvas ornaments. All right guys, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. Of course, this is just a blank canvas. Nothing special going on here just yet, but don't worry because we are going to change that. What we're going to do today, what our project involves is uploading some really cute ornament SVG files, cutting them from HTV, and then applying them to our mini canvases. So of course, I have several designs to choose from. We're gonna start by uploading those files. We're gonna come down here to upload and then we're going to go to upload image and browse. And then from our downloads folder, we want to select this Christmas ornament SVG. Now in the SVGs, you see you don't have much of a preview. So I'm gonna let you in on a secret. If you go to the PNGs, you should get some little preview images. And then from there, you'll be able to decide which ones you wanna select. And the only reason that I say that this is a little cheat is because you can come here and you can find the number and the names where it says like Christmas ornament 07, Christmas ornament 08. You can remember which ones you wanna use and then import those SVG files. So really super easy um, and just kind of, just a little, a little, little bit of a cheat. So I'm gonna use this first one, Merry Christmas. I think it's just a standard. Oh, you know what, I'm lying to you guys. I said to remember the names. Okay, so the first one was the Christmas ornament number one. Go ahead and go to upload. And then we're gonna go to upload image again because I want one more. I'm gonna do two here with you in the video today. So let's go back to PNG. And you know what, let's just do the merry and bright because these are going to be relatively small designs. I did it again, guys, I'm too busy talking to you. That's number six, okay. But, um, you know, these are the little mini canvases are only four inches. So with that in mind, I don't wanna do anything too, too small. So let's go ahead and grab both of those. We're gonna bring those into our working canvas area. Looks like they import rather large, that's okay. Select one ornament. And guys, we're just gonna go ahead and choose three inches for both of them. And then I wanna show you more about sizing these, okay? Because, you know, my idea is always to set up a template. So we do have square canvases, so I'm gonna create a square. We can color that in in white. And then I want my square to be four inches because that's the size of our canvas. Now remember, when we're getting ready to press this, let's go ahead and send this to back. Okay, when I get ready to press this, I have to remember that the outside has a frame. Okay, so these can't be too large, but you don't want them to be too small so they look awkward. And it's not that you can't push it closer to the edges, but it's just harder to get them in the edges. You know what I mean? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select this and just center it. Um, I think that's good. I think that's good. So that is, we're gonna say 3.35. Um, I'm sorry, three point, yeah, 3.35. So then for this one, we will also do 3.35. Uh, let's do it the other way, 3.35, there we go. All right, so we have two designs. We can go ahead and delete out our rectangle. We don't need it after sizing. And just for good measure, let's go ahead and attach both of these together. There we go. Now let's go ahead and click over to make it. Now we are cutting these out of heat transfer vinyl today. So we're gonna cut on a mat and we are going to mirror. Now I'm gonna separate these just a tiny bit. I don't wanna go crazy, but I don't need a whole lot of vinyl there. Now let's go ahead and connect via Bluetooth. My material today is going to be everyday iron-on. 
and we're going to go ahead and go load the material. Now I am going to cheat a little bit. I'm gonna cut and weed these. And then what I wanna focus on in the video portion is to show you my tips and tricks for pressing these designs and then finishing up our ornaments. All right, let's head on over. All right guys, so here we are. As promised, I have already cut and weeded our HTV. I actually used, I was fortunate enough to find two scraps that I had, so yay, but I just wanted to let you know why the carrier sheets are just a little bit tinted different. They're just two different brands, but, so I have a glue gun, and that's gonna come into play later, along with some festive ribbon. And then I have my little Easy Press Mini. This is already preheated to the second line, so I hit the button twice. These are the mini canvases. Now these come in a two pack, very inexpensive. I got them from Michaels, but you're gonna get them just about anywhere. They are, as you can see, four by four, but they are just the cheap ones. There's nothing special about those. And this is what I was saying with them being on frames. Okay, so the key to any vinyl project with canvases is I need something that's going to um, allow me to press from the front. So I need something to put on the inside of this frame. So for my purposes today, I just grabbed, you know, this is from uh, a prior project that we did. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna fold this up. So usually I do one at a time. I can unfold it from the tea towel size that I had. And if we can just get it about the right size for the inside, maybe a tad bit smaller, because as we wrap it up, it'll start to get a little bigger. If I just go ahead and wrap my tea towel. There we go, that's pretty good. I just need something that I can hold or put under the back so that when I press down on this, I can get a decent amount of pressure, okay? So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. I'm gonna grab one of my HTV, we'll just call them decals, my heat transfer vinyl decal, put it right on top, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Easy Press, my little Easy Press Mini, and go ahead and tack it in. Now, as I'm pressing, I can definitely feel where that ridge is, where the frame is. So that's why it's really awesome to use this little Easy Press Mini, because I get a better feel and control over it than I would with a, you know trying to use a heat press or anything like that. So I'm just gonna try it now. I don't have to worry too much about pressure because this isn't something that you're going to wash and wear. I wanna apply some heat and then a decent amount of pressure so that it will adhere. Okay, so let's see how that turned out. Okay, there, done. Super cute, super easy. Let's go ahead and take the second one. Just gonna slide it right there on the inside. Why well, make this hard, Becky? There we go, line it up, turn it over, grab your design. Now at first, I thought that these designs were gonna be sized a little bit larger than what I wanted, but I'm actually really, really happy with the size of these. So again, I'm just kind of pressing all around. I'm trying not to focus too hard on these creases because I will be able to crease the canvas and my HTV. So when I'm pressing down on that area, I'm actually pressing against the wood frame so I don't rip or give an impression on my canvas or HTV, okay? But just trying to get a decent amount of pressure on there. And this is much easier because some of you may be wondering why don't you just use adhesive vinyl? Adhesive vinyl and canvas equals one big nightmare. So this is much easier. I feel like it's gonna last much longer. It is very, very smooth. I can do what I what I'm gonna call the finger scrub test. All right, no loose pieces. Let's do this one. No loose pieces. So as far as the heating part. That is completely done. So now the fun part. Now I'm gonna use um, this little red ribbon, but something else that's very popular is just a little bit of twine. So completely up to you. I feel like the little red ribbon just adds a little bit of festiveness because these are Christmas, by the way. So I'm just gonna measure out two lengths. It actually doesn't matter how long they are. We're just gonna apply these with hot glue. You can also apply these with a staple gun if you want. So I'm gonna flip both of these over. Now my hot glue gun is already preheated, but all I'm gonna do is loop this over. 
try to get it even, determine how long I want it to be. And I'm gonna give myself two little dabs of hot glue. I wanna try to make them even, but ultimately nobody's really gonna see it. Okay, so we can let those dry. Now I can trim them afterwards if I want to. Okay, so as soon as the hot glue dries, those are ready for my Christmas tree. Now really, we're talking about even in the time it took me to record this for you, pressing, applying the ribbon, everything involved, you're talking about five minutes. So five minutes for two, and this is what you have. I think that is a really easy project. Now obviously, setting up the designs, sizing them a couple minutes, cutting and weeding a couple minutes, but these are really easy to mass produce because the designs are so small and they're very inexpensive. So even if you don't use them as actual ornaments, they also make really good gift tags. They make really good door hangers. There's really a lot of things. You can make one of these hanging on a wine bottle. I mean, you can never go wrong with a little tiny baby canvas because they're always so incredibly cute inexpensive and easy to make. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. There we go. That is our project. So guys, what did you think about our super cute, super simple, super easy miniature canvas Christmas ornaments? Now using them with heat trains for vinyl makes it so so super easy. You know, you just add, I use the tea towel, you can use a shirt, you can use anything that you can just fold up a little square. I mean, heck, if you have to, you can use paper towels, literally anything that will be safe from that little bit of heat and provide enough pressure for you to adhere the heat transfer vinyl. So I really like them. I think they're absolutely adorable. And they, like I said, will make perfect ornaments or bag tags or gift tags or however you want to look at it. They're very, very versatile. So if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you any way I can. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you these really awesome videos. But for today, guys, I am going to wrap it up. I appreciate you. I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you again next time.